to the U.S. Coast Guard making a daring rescue after a helicopter crashed in the Gulf of Mexico last night. The cruise ship passenger who went overboard, lucky to be alive this morning. Those guys stranded in the water are fighting off sharks with their fists. But Coast Guard aviation survival technician Richard, Richard Hefley, thank you so much for joining us. Tonight, the Coast Guard swimmer who helped pull runs from the water describes the incredible rescue. I'm aviation survival technician, second class Richard Hefley at Coast Guard Air Station, New Orleans. We train like we fight. We don't know if a simple uncorrelated May Day is nothing or if it's 15 people in the water. We don't know if a vessel adrift is actually a vessel adrift because there's five people in the water that came off that boat. We want to train as if we're going out to a worst case scenario. We want to be ready for worst case scenario for every rescue. The first helicopter case, three individuals uh, found themselves upside down in the crash aircraft in the, in the Gulf. It was nighttime, so we couldn't see the surface of the water. We didn't know uh, what I would be swimming in. Uh, through the injuries of the survivors, the aviation fuel in the water, the oil in the water, the hydraulic fluid, uh, it made for a very interesting rescue. Survivors of the second helicopter crash, uh, they were showing uh, signs of shock. They had just been through a very traumatic uh, helicopter crash. And, and we were able to hoist all three individuals and get them to a higher level of care and home to their families later that day. Thanksgiving miracle, uh, individual fell off the Carnival Valor um, and had been out in the water for about 24 hours. No life jacket, no raft, uh, no means of survival except for just the will to survive. As I swam up to the survivor, I handed him the, the rescue sling and he collapsed into it. I, I honestly think that he had about a minute, if not 30 seconds left before he succumbed to his battle. Yeah, Sharknado is just one of those amazing cases. At one point in the 24 hours of their survival in the water, they were being actively attacked by sharks. Through the assistance of District 8 and a fixed wing out of Corpus Christi, we were able to locate and hoist uh, three of the survivors. So after we had hoisted the first person, they had all been separated in the water. So they didn't know if their buddies had survived or not. When the first survivor saw the second survivor come into the, the aircraft, I got to see a sense of joy and relief. And then when the basket went down again and his next buddy came into the aircraft, I got to see that sense of joy and satisfaction that they realized that they had all just survived the worst day of their life. You know, standing as the operations officer, I always love to see uh, crews go out and do great things. That's what we train for. It's what we practice for. It's why we join the Coast Guard. And then to go do it and do it several times over the course of a couple of months is, is uh, it just makes me so proud. That's why I, I joined the service. I wanted to help people. Uh, not all cases go great. You know, not, not all situations come up with happy endings. Uh, so when you do get those cases where you get to bring a mom or a dad back to their family, it, that's why we do this. 